Cast our sign language interpreter tonight is Damien Evans. Now, the Anglican Church has now banned fundraising in their sanctuaries by politicians while asking bishops and the clergy not to allow Rambis in church. The Anglican Archbishop Jackson Olesapit argued that corrupt leaders were using the church to sanitize what they have looted from public coffers. It's coming against the backdrop of war of words between opposition leaders and Deputy President William Ruto over the question on where the Deputy President gets money to donate to churches every weekend. KTN senior political reporter Chris Tairo puts this into perspective. From in the Ministry of Water, Mr. Tairungu, 100,000. On Sunday, July the 8th, last year, at the All Saints Cathedral Church in Nairobi, Deputy President Dr. William Ruto hands over a cash donation of 8 million shillings to the Anglican Church of Kenya Archbishop Jackson Olesapit with the promise of sending 2 million shillings more later. It was a personal donation to the church. Thank you. Thank you all. Nine months down the line and the Archbishop has seen the light flanked by members of the multi-sectoral initiative against corruption the archbishop banned harambe's inside the sanctuary on grounds that corrupt politicians were abusing the gesture i urge all our bishops to shun partisan politics from the pulpit let us not allow harambe monies to be a subtle way of sanitizing the corrupt leaders and uh, become the way that uh, we also open the pulpit to be used wrongly by those who are not uh, the worship leaders. While asking the government to rain on all those who are corrupt in the country, the Archbishop also cautioned the men of the cloth against mixing religion and politics, and that politicians should stay away from the pulpit. Can the pulpit be for the worship leaders, so that when we are leading services, we will uh, enable the worship leader to be the one to lead the service from beginning to the end, without interludes and interference from other people who may come to introduce a subject which is not the agenda of the church. The leader of majority in the Senate, Kipchumba, 200,000 shillings. The issue of politicians donating large amounts of money to churches continues to dominate the political debate in the country, with opposition leaders pointing an accusing finger to the deputy president, questioning his generosity. Every weekend, this church, five million. This is a five, five million. Another one, five million. One weekend, 15 million. And your salary is only one million per month. Ikiwa Safaricom is the richest. Inaweza kana na mnagani, mili mutu moja, natoa pesa, kila weekend, kila pahali, kushinda ata Safaricom. However, the deputy president has not taken the criticism lying down, and he has time and again defended his actions. Na hawa watu mkiwachunguza sana, pesa yao pia wanatumia usiku. Mara, pesa yao wanapeleka kwa waganga, pesa yao wanapeleka kwa wachawi usiku. Yetu sisi tunaleta mchana kanisani kwa kazi ya mungu. The move by the Anglican Church of Kenya comes only three days after the Catholic Church also discouraged donations, especially from politicians. Let us uh, learn as a church to worship God with our resources quietly. Let us not hype this thing of Harambe and the guest of honor. Because that's where we go wrong. The guest of honor will come, he will begin to give a speech, and in the speech then he takes us out of the church message. Churches be used as avenues for money laundering. Jen, if you could a briefcase, the media pesa, mutanifumza. Sasa wewe ni unalewa kwa ba mpaka saa kumi na moja asubuhi alafu unaamka unaenda unatuuliza nyinyi mmetoa wapi pesa ya kutoa kanisani Hii <laughs> dunia iko na shida mingi Harambe is in churches is not a new phenomenon but with time there are those who feel that the good gesture is been abused especially in the era where corruption is being fought in all angles Hence the main reason for the church to ban Harambe's in churches.